Check, check. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, check, check. Music plays a, a very important role in my life because I understand how powerful music is. You know, music is actually the only thing that can activate and stimulate the whole brain and the whole cognitive activity that's going on in your, in your brain. You know, as far as everyone, like, you've never met a person that said, you know, I don't listen to music at all. Like, you know, people have different subjective uh, uh, genres, and, and, but everyone, everyone is, uh, is, uh, has a connection to music, and that's why I think it's so powerful and why, why it plays such an important role in my life. Well, you know, beatboxing, the thing about, uh, you know, beatboxing is basically creating, creating acoustical noises using your your nasal and your mouth. You know, and we all we all have a we all have a a range of sounds that we can create, like the alphabet from A to Z. Each each sound has a specific uh, has a specific uh, frequency and tone that uh, that we can create. And within these tones, you know, like for example, the letter B, you say the you say the letter B, 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 B. But you know, if you tighten it up and create pressure, it can come out as a kick drum, like. <laughs> and for uh, another example, the letter T can also you know function as a hi hat. If you just take a uh, take the beginning sound and just you know put pressure on it, T, 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 and and create a hi hat like that. But with music, uh, with uh, beatboxing, it's so universal, you know? Like, I can, I can walk up to like an Indian tribe and we can have like different languages, but I can start beatboxing and I bet you the whole tribe will start like going like this. You can't tell me they're not gonna start bobbing their head like that. You know, so that's what's so universal about beatboxing because it's just like something that, it's its own language within itself. And that's, that's, what, that's why I enjoy it so much. You know, with beatboxing, it's like you can do it anywhere. You know, you can uh, you can do it in the bathroom. You can do it in the living room while you're walking. Like it's 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 with you. It's it becomes a part of you, is what it is. So, you know, like any instrument, you also have to work at it. So I chose this form of expression because you know, when we, when I was young and I was in like uh, high school. You know how you would sit in like the cafeteria and you know, you know, kids, you know, they're still trying to learn like the social dynamics of getting along with each other and all that stuff like that. But you know, my friend, he would start rapping and you know, I, I, could, I could be that, that, that music that would, that would generate and, and grab everyone's attention and, and you know, bring people together. And that's why I think it's so powerful about, you know, beatboxing, you know, what inspires me you know, for beatboxing is a lot of things. You know, I look at my family and I just, they inspire me, my friends inspire me. You know, all types of different artists. You know, I, I, look, up, I look up to like the best beatboxers in the world and I really, I really like study their craft and I take bits and pieces. And you know, with beatboxing, it's not like, a, like when, when you study it, you really have to have a, a certain type of ear for it because you really have to listen to the sounds. Like you can't, you can't see, you can't look at a position that someone's doing. You really have to listen to it and experiment with it. So, you know, I, I take bits and pieces of the best beatboxers in the world. And first I imitate, and then I take that and I, I, I infuse it with my creativity and then I originate something new. 
So, you know, just a lot of stuff inspires me as far as, you know, beatboxing. You know, my friend, when we were in high school, you know, he started rapping. And me and him at the same, around the same time, we both started working on our craft. He started rapping. I started, I started making, this was before I was really into beatboxing. I was, I was making beats on computers, you know, that, you know, he was rapping and, and I made this beat. So, you know, that, that really gave us the energy to keep going. And to this day, we're still, you know, He's still rapping and I'm still making beats and I see a lot of progress and I see a bright future. With storytelling would come in and, and all that types of stuff where, where you would turn on the radio and just and just listen to like some something that you could vibe out and it would make you feel something. And uh, music nowadays, you know, as far as the radio, their their attention is mostly on uh mostly on uh how much profit they can make from the music. So that that's that's the the measure that they use by, you know, what kind of music they play on the radio. You know, how much can it sell? You know, can can this can this type of music attract, you know, a certain type of audience rather than, you know, looking at it from the artistic perspective and just, you know, really feeling it and really understanding the music, you know, and that's what, that's what I think, you know, music is always changing, you know, that's a fact, you know, music is always going to be changing because life is always changing. So there's going to be, you know, different perspectives of the way you see it. And, you know, the way I look at it, you know, I, I accept all types of music. But, you know, I feel like just back in the day, there was more towards that emotion type of, uh, of music making rather than, than what it is today. 